And so I think that's a miracle of God. I think that's the spirit of truth. What do you think? Why don't you share with me? I'd love to hear your opinion or, or pray about it and love to hear what the voice of God tells you. And so what should I be doing now that I'm in my room? Well, the Bible answers that question too. Here in Psalms chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Stand in awe and don't sin. Search your own heart on your bed and be still. That's basically telling me to meditate on God on his awesomeness, be in awe, rejoice in him, don't sin, and reflect on my heart and my emotions and process those, process my emotions through God, through Yahweh, and so he can expose the secrets of my heart and show me the right right way to correct my feelings and any traumas or hidden, hidden desires that need to be exposed. And so that's why you need to sit in your own bed, search your heart, and be still. You need to meditate on your emotions so God can help you process all your emotions. Also in verse 5, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in Yahweh, Elohim God. So put your trust in God and sacrifice for righteousness. So that's what I should be doing in my bed and that's what I'm doing. And so why do I think that God told me to hide in my room? And search my own heart and be still and meditate on and reflect on the emotions of my heart and process them through the power of Elohim God. Well, I think it's because as Jesus said, in the days of Noah, so the days of the Son of Man will be. And, and they were eating and drinking and marrying until the flood came and swept them all away. And so I think we're living in that generation now when God has declared this earth evil and wicked and the people we are now in the wickedest generation the most evil generation of the history of mankind and it's that time of judgment and wrath that god is bringing upon the earth and so that's why god wants me to not do as the people of the world are doing even the christians are doing which is living like everything is normal but god wants me to reflect my experiences in life and emotions through him so I can meditate and dwell on him in safety, in the privacy and safety of my own room.